Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good Tuesday morning. Stay safe. Keep your mask on your face. Don't listen to these people, man. But <laughs> look here. We got a lot a uh, lot to talk about before tonight. We got NXT. We got AEW. Yeah, and, uh, yeah we're going to go ahead and jump straight in it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, NXT tonight. That's, I mean... The thing that was really the, the main three things that anybody really that's on anybody's mind right now is the women's tag team titles. Mm-hmm. Finally, they getting some news. All right, <laughs> the AEW men's tag team, the men's tag team championship, they going up against Tommaso Ciampa and Timothy uh, Timothy Thatcher. That's an NXT, right? Not yeah, AEW. That's an NXT. Tommaso Ciampa and for AEW. <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, yeah, him and to Chamaso Champa and Timothy Thatcher are going at the tab, you know, Oni Larkin and them. Which this heel Oni Larkin thing, man, I'm liking that. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's been a long time coming. It ain't nothing but a typical. I guess what it is when you hear people when good guys go heel, it depends on the guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because look here, Tucker, Tucky, Tucky went heel, didn't work, fire it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and we got did, did Adam Cole's super kick to Roderick Strong last week further shatter the undisputed there? I think that was what the old schools call the final nail in the coffin for the undisputed era. The undisputed era is over. Now, the top four questions that I think that I I mean that I can pull together. That, that I've seen anybody asking about them. You know, I've read CBS and sports, they talk about it. I've went to uh, KCICs, they talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the women, who you want? Who who would you rather win to have go walk away with these titles tonight? Honestly, I you go ahead. You go. Who you want to see and win, uh, see win these titles? You want you want Shayna Baszler them to retain and go on to do whatever the fuck it is they're doing. Or could they use this as the point to split these two and give uh, cred? My bad. I'm sorry. No, 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 you were asking a question. Ask question. To give some shine to another tag team, possibly more tag teams down in NXT. Because y'all didn't hog the whole first half of this damn belt's life with the first, with the main shows. You know what I'm saying? These belts have been prim- primarily featured. And I'm sorry that it seems like I'm yelling, but it's just, they, if anything needs to happen, I know I say I, they need to scrap these titles. I retract that statement, and I say, don't scrap them. Give them, on, give them some shine on NXT. You got a lot of young women down there who can start as tag teams to build their popularity, and you can split them amongst the shows how you lead them later on down the line. It's a lot of potential to take those titles, put them on new people, and let the titles grow with the people. Hmm. Not and, you, and then you can give them a chance to move on into the main show. I mean, they are champions. We don't discredit champions. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not. I, I championships and storylines and good performing is the top three things that matter to wrestling in me. If you got a good champion tied up in a good story and he can perform. Nina, I'm there. Mm-hmm. So, go ahead. I take that statement and I'll back that up and say, this is, if you're not going to scrap them, this is the chance to bring relevance not only to uh, NXT t- uh, tag teams in the women's division, but to bring relevance back to those championships as well. If you're not going to scrap them, this is your chance to make them relevant again. There is no reason why Shayna Baszler and, and Nia Jax should be held, holding on to those championships right now. They've done all they can with them. There's really no other place they can go with them. You know what I mean? They've taken on Raw Women's Champ, uh, your Raw Women's Championships with them. SmackDown Women's Championship. It's just time. It's time for Nia Jax and and uh, and uh, Shayna Baszler to split up. It's time for them to split up. And this is your chance to bring relevance back to those championships if you're not going to scrap them. Okay. I stand by what I said yesterday about they need to go ahead and scrap them. But if you're not going to. This is your chance to make them relevant and not just make them seem like they're just placeholders to just give someone more shine 
that really don't need it right now. And this is also your chance to put, like you said, to give some shine back to give some shine to NXT, uh, to give some shine down to those NXT talents down there. I'm sorry I'm stuttering so much. Oh, but uh, yeah, this is your chance to this is your chance to make those titles relevant again and bring some shine down to the NXT women's uh, to the NXT women down there. This is your opportunity to do so. I don't see no re- I don't see any reason why they should go on with those those championships. And honestly, like I said, instead of having those two as a tag team, you could either have them go at it or have them be you know that dominant force on either on on respective shows. I mean, uh, if they split them, you got to think. I don't, man, I don't know what's gonna happen to Shayna, other than them putting her in the title picture and letting her go back on what she was doing in NXT. You know, I mean. Yeah. She did leave behind a tag team in their own right with Jessamine Duke and, and the other chick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she, <laughs> she it's a the the chance to bring those people back. She you know what I'm NXT, saying? Like, they faces were no longer shown, but they were there to pretty much help her stay on top for her second and most dominant title run on NXT. So it on it's on it would be only fair that the one the NXT titles go to uh, to I mean the WWE women's tag team titles go to NXT because it would be on that show and that would be the chance for Jessamine Duke and uh, what's the other chick's name? I don't want to disrespect her because I should kick my ass. So <laughs> what's her name? Uh, it's Jessamine Duke and and man, I ain't no disrespect to you, lady. But I know who you are. And y'all need to be a team and going after those tag team titles because y'all are one of the... I'm saying, I'm bringing y'all up because you're one of the teams that can be going after those titles once they become NXT property. You understand what I'm saying? I was going to say, yeah, that gives you yet another tag team to work with, man. I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all just wasting people for no reason, though. Okay. What the fuck? All right. What's going on? And forgive me. Yeah, I get that. I say that's passion. That, that the, the 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 curse words and the seriousness that's coming from the heart. That's passion because I'm trying to remain professional. Y'all, you know what I'm saying. I understand. We trying to make something happen. But what's going on with Kieran Cross, man? Come on, man. Should have came back. Been right back in the title picture. You made him champion. You not. You made him a champion for a reason. Yeah. You didn't make him a champion just for him to go take an injury storyline so you could pass the championship back off to Finn Balor. I'm no man, again, no disrespect to Finn Balor. Coming back to NXT was the best thing he could have done for in his career. And he knew you it, know too. what I'm saying? And it's, good. it's a good thing he did, and I'm glad he did, and I'm glad he's getting some more. Sh- I'm glad Finn is getting the opportunity to do what he loves. That's more... I'm, and I, I care less about him being a champion. He wanted to perform. And he wanted to perform with great talent like himself. That's why he went back. And he get yeah. an opportunity to do that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel with a superstar the caliber of Finn, he should be a main staple on Raw or SmackDown. He should be somebody that's in the title picture at all times. He was you know the very first. He was the very first Universal Champion in the Universal Championships history. Also, like I mean, there's no reason why he shouldn't be a mainstay. Like the fact that he came back from injury and didn't get a rematch until what two or three years later and was absolutely smashed. <laughs> and then got smashed by Roman Reigns, like the very dude he beat to get to the championship. And like, come on, bro, that was absolute trash. You know what I mean? Like, come on now. And then you are gonna bring back Kerry and Cross to. Like I don't know if you even if you trying to hear, get, turn him into a face, but he still got a healed attitude, dude. I seen that match with him and the made them essays beating him down, dude, bro. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? They, he, I feel like I feel like I'm watching the face get jumped, and that's how. I, why, why mm-hmm. him? Why not thrust yeah. him back into the title picture uh, immediately and let him reclaim what he? Ever lost, I guess, and you have to relinquish. I mean, this we all seen this storyline before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think it was they probably just. I feel like I already feel like they wasting them when when they pairing them with Scarlet, because we know yeah. why you hired her, dude. You didn't hire her for this reason, because he didn't come along to afterwards. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. come on, man! Like they don't need he don't need her, and she don't need him. They were they 
made it respectively on their own merit. He, I just don't understand why, you know, what's going on with him right now. It's confusing. Oh, and the name we were looking for earlier was Marina Shafir. There That's you the- go, Shafir. I wanted to say Shakespeare, but I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was like, man, I want to say Shakespeare, man, but I want to insult you. I say she. Yeah, she's also married to, I don't know if she still is, but she was married to Roderick Strong, too, which is, yeah. Yeah, see, so. and that's how I know, that's why I knew she was there. I don't want to you get put a business ass. out there, but, you know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, oh, I remember I asked you about Kyle O'Reilly. You know, I know he's been out on an injury, man. I'm like, that dude. Email. Him and Bobby Fish, bro. It's like they just can't stay healthy, bro. You know I, I don't, I don't get it. How long you think he's gonna be gone, and when are you expecting him to possibly come back? And what can he come back to? See him as Adam Cole is destroying the era. I don't know. I mean, that depends on how long Adam Cole is in NXT. He can't stay in NXT forever. It's either go to NXT and eventually move up to the main roster, or you're gonna see him in AEW with, with you know. Which honestly, you put him with the, and he already got the Good Brothers, Kenny Omega. You put him with the rest of the Bullet Club, which he was already a part of when he signed with NXT. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like everybody he knows is already over there. So, I mean, it's not like he will be going any unknown place. You know what I mean? They, he probably fit right in. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know he fit in better in AEW than he would on the main roster here with, with the current, you know, with the current guys they got running the show. No, they've been making better decisions. You know what I'm saying? They've been making better decisions lately, which is nothing more than them going back and doing now what they should have did in the early 2000s and 2010s. Honestly, this is- they put no, they stopped that. This whole, this whole thing about, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but no, you got- this whole thing about NXT moving to Tuesday nights, people probably looking at it as like a weak move, on, but it, honestly, it's not. What they're trying to do is distinguish themselves from the competitors. We don't need to be performing on the same nights. I don't need to try to undercut your business, uh, undercut your views, even though we've been whooping y'all's ass for the last year and a half. You know what mm. I'm saying? So we just over here doing our thing. They, mm. They'd be probably like, man, we don't need to be on that show. Let's move to Tuesday nights. Take Because wasn't NXT on Tuesdays on, on the network anyway? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why it went to Wednesdays. It should have just been Tuesdays. So on it, went live, it went live on Wednesdays. Yeah. Because I do it live on Wednesdays. Right. They couldn't get that time slot. Now they, I'm pretty sure now they can get it, which, is, like you say, it makes all the sense in the world. Yeah. Though, you you know don't I mean? need to compete with them. You know what I'm saying? And it's money for everybody. Hell, you can get your money on this night. We'll get our money on this yeah. night. You know because what I'm saying? We don't need to compete. When they were trying to compete with AEW, they was going out these old wonky ass matches. It was like, whoa, what are you doing? What's going on? That's why I stopped watching NXT. I was like, bro, okay, that shit looks weird. So, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. They just start throwing shit together instead of just staying true to what made them NXT. Storylines yeah. that made sense, great wrestling and great results from that wrestling and great storytelling. Yeah. You know what that's I mean, and that's what that's what AEW. I, though they miss the mark sometimes, you can't you can't get them all. But that's what they were doing better than NXT. They they stayed true to what they did. They put in at least for the most part, put in things that made sense. Great storytelling and great matches. You know, though gory at times, great matches that that made sense and results that made sense for the most part. Yeah. All right. So Cameron Grimes, man, this cat right here, some. <laughs> What's up with him, dude? <laughs> What's up with him? I watched a little stick with him walking around. I, I'm feeling this little r- rich Triple hillbilly, e. hillbilly swag is hillbilly rich. Is what he say. Triple <laughs> e. old Triple E. Say, bro, what's up? What's going on with this man, man? It is. I, I have no idea. I think honestly, at this point, he's just glad. And honestly, anybody in his position should be. And I would too. Don't get me wrong. I think he's just happy to do. I think he's just happy to be in the wrestling business. You know what I mean? And at this point, he's like, whatever the hell y'all want me to do, especially amid a pandemic, and I just watched y'all release how many people yeah. last year? Bro, dude, whatever dude, y'all want to hear, I'll wear a monkey penis on my forehead if that's what y'all want me to. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, whatever puts me on the show. I, whatever put me on the show. Okay, I'm say, what, the, what you what you doing with that that New Day unicorn horn? I'm, I'm, I'm replacing the horn. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, you're not putting that on TV, but <laughs> <laughs> and you say maybe what if maybe I can. We have the technology to blur it out. Yeah, it's not like we have yeah, to go you know what I'm right now. We don't have fans at the shows right now. You know now. what I mean? Have- so yeah, you know. We'll think about it. You know, we'll- <laughs> 
Get All back right. to me. Yeah, get back to me. And then finally, for NXT, let's talk about Gorgano losing his mind. All thanks to Dexter Loomis. I think a better question would be, who in the hell is Dexter Loomis, man? Like, well, like not saying like who he is. Like, we know who he is, but, like, what the hell is that character? You know what I mean? Yeah, I can I can understand the character. I'm just having trouble getting behind the, the where they pushing him. Like, I want the stories with him. Like, this right now, he's kind of, I can understand how what's going on. Like, the Johnny Gorgano got his crew. He got his wife. He got his other cat and his this is the chick with him who are currently the dude has been kidnapped by Dexter in the past. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and the chick finds it hot that he's doing that he does what he does. So it's kind of like, what the hell? Now we got this storyline where Johnny Gorgano is the North American champion surrounded by idiots and he losing his damn mind and he got a psychopath on his trail too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and it's it was like, what the hell I'm a dude? And I'm like, man, I like, I like Dexter Loomis, and I I like the fact that I think that his character that he's playing is something is something that's just, it's, it's been done before, but it's... it's, it's yeah, it's been done before, but it's him. It's been done more than somebody else did it, too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so I can't remember who, but, you know, DDP, I remember, yeah, he was the most... Famous one that you can remember doing him and the Undertaker, you know what I mean? So I remember I, it because DDP was one of my favorite wrestlers in WCW. Like yeah, I had his back. I had like I bought merch for him and everything. That's how big a fan I was of him. You know what I'm saying? I was a and Goldberg. Then, I bought. I remember I first bought my Goldberg shirt. I was like, "Boo, I wrote that bitch everywhere." Me Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, and to see him just get buried like that, you know what I mean? I knew even at yeah. the time, like, I knew even that at the time, before I even knew the terminology. That was for burial burial, idiot. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I knew even as a kid before I even knew the terminology, you know, I was, I was like, man, that, that's not cool, bro. You know shovel. what I'm saying? Like, and then I did, you know. But, Gold and shovel that, man. Wee. Yeah. yeah that, <laughs> nah, fuck gold. That was a platinum shovel. <laughs> man, man. God damn. I had platinum with diamonds encrusted in it, motherfucker. But yeah, no, I feel Dexter Loomis's character because I know that he probably came up with that character because he's probably like, man, that's a really good show. Yeah. And Dexter was a really good show, and here at the moment, the shit, nobody has been seeing uh, anybody, anything in the business right that for years. It's been a long time since we've seen a stalker storyline because of the way that we treat women in the business now. Women yeah. are not victims anymore, they fight for themselves. Yeah. So yes. rather than have yeah, rather than have him stalking a woman and have a you know I mean shit think about that while we let me chunk this up before we move on. Mm -hmm. uh, Here we go. Dexter Loomis versus Karrion Cross because Dexter's a fucking creep, and he stuck. You think she's a, she got she walking around acting all you know what I'm saying? Okay, put Dexter in her face, let him stare down with the. Yeah, come on now. And then he come carrying. <laughs> Nigga, and Dexter just. There you go. There you go, WWE. Do something with the. Uh, give come him on, a. Man. And then that would push. You already. That would make something interesting out of Dexter's character because now, how many women are okay? Now they talking about. Oh, one more thing before we go. Charlotte pitched working with Andrade to. And it got turned down. Wonder why? I'm. You nobody wants to see it. What you gonna do? Be his manager? What he gonna do? Be your manager? He gonna take the Selena Vega role or some shit? What? The fuck? <laughs> what? He, you popular? You more popular than him? You gonna take a side seat to push his career? I'd like to see. Nobody wants to see that. So yeah, let that man be his own man because he's already a damn good wrestler. He can already be a damn good champion. Yes. Let him do his thing. No, yes. you know, stop. If if it's a storyline you're trying to tell, I'm interested to hear it. But once it starts going south, man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take a look at what happened with Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. Have y'all not learned from y'all mistakes before? That's why yeah. Becky Lynch, no matter when she come back, is not going to get that pop y'all think she is, yeah. if she even come back. If she come back, she going to get some love for coming back, but she got a long way to go. And oh, that yeah. man stick ain't going to do it. You got to rebuild her from the ground up if you're gonna do that. And that's just my opinion. No disrespect that's, to that's, Becky, yeah, but that's my opinion. That's she my had opinion. she had it rough before she took that leap. 
it's hard to take time off and try to come back amidst a bunch of other stars that's trying to get that same that same light, you know. But yeah, do something. Do something. Y'all got a lot, a lot of potential, man. This is just, I'm back into wrestling, and that's good to say. So let's go ahead and shake up and shake it up real quick and move on over to 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 uh, AEW. And what we have in store for for tonight's matches, we got Shaq making his in ring debut. Lisa, like with with that with that Amazon that he got on his hip, Jade. Jesus Christ, dude! I think she gonna literally batter this chick in the actual cake batter tonight. Red Velvet, <laughs> she gonna actually. Beat her ass tonight and make a cake out of this woman. Cause that dude, this chick is jacked, son. She's probably one of them. She reminds me of that chick JBL clothesline back in the day. Shaniqua, you remember mm-hmm. her was the one that used to come out with the, the Basham brothers on chains like dogs? Mm-hmm. Bro, do you remember JBL had them like, let her know what was up? You put your hands on the man. <laughs> that was the last time we seen her. She reminds me of her. Last time I saw her. Yeah, she she reminds me of that chick. She's big. She's strong. I don't know how athletic she is. I ain't never seen her before. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen her before? Nope, I ain't heard of her before. You know what I'm saying? And not to my knowledge. Tonight it'll probably be the bit. I mean, I, we've seen little clips of her in the ring and whatever. And to that, I mean, I guess, you know, that shit is like film slow just to make it look cool. Mm-hmm. Being actually live in the ring and doing things, keeping this shit together, we gonna see. And one thing I look for when I'm watching my matches is footwork. Mm-hmm. If you guys I gotta call it out without, I'll call it out without WWE champion Bobby got bad footwork, but Bobby can still hell hold it, so he can still move. Mm-hmm. I've seen her in the ring and move. I've seen her moving around slightly on live, and she just seems to be. Damn, she seemed like she actually be hitting motherfuckers, bro. Like, you you, you doing this? You do realize it's entertainment, right? If you actually want to square up, and you should not hold on, you know. Yeah. But yeah. I'm interested to see how she performs. I'm definitely interested to see what's going on with Shaq. Oh my god, Shaq! I, I, oh my god. So. I mean, <laughs> I I feel like this match in some way, and I thought it this hit me this morning. I feel like this match in some way was a jab at WWE for not having Shaq and Big Show at WrestleMania. And ironically enough, look who just signed with AEW. And look, ironically enough, look who's making his first uh, 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 announcement of any kind tonight at AEW as well. I'm just <laughs> saying, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had that. Who, who wouldn't have? Uh, I, it's not saying that Shaq can't wrestle. I'm sure Shaq has been training. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure the Shaq has been to a performance center of some sort and, you know, got in there and moved around. He ain't you know, he ain't out of shape. He in shape. Best shape I've seen him in. You know what I'm saying? That he finna come out there. Age. Yeah. His age. You know, he gonna come out there and he gonna, it's not gonna look the best, but it's something that had, that could have been done somewhere else. And I think Cody just like, you know what? Why we really fuck it? Let's do it. They ain't do it. They can't say they did it first. Let's do it. Why and it just, just yeah, it feels like that being as if now that they're getting ready to move nights, it's like, you know, let's do it. But that's just do it and be done with it. Is Shaq going to be wrestling full time, part time? I don't think so. I think, honestly, that thing, I think that's, they just going to hire that match and just, all right, we did it. Because honestly, that's another reason why I like AEW over WWE. Like, the, remember back in the day, WWE wasn't afraid to try shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, with AEW, they not afraid to try shit. You, you know see, what I'm saying? Like, you can see, just you can see, see, just let's just see what happens. That's what I like about AEW more than that. Let's just see, let's just try it and see what happens. If not, okay, we can always move on to the next. You know what I'm saying? Now, also we uh, we got uh the women's qualifier match, dude. This match is weird. It's this tournament that they've been having going on here in AEW with these women, dude. I swear it felt like there were no AEW wrestlers in there. Where are them? Yeah, I saw Britt Baker, Nyla Rose in there, Thunder Rosa was in there. But that that Riho, of course, but the whole rest of the tournament was like Japanese wrestlers. 
from, uh-huh. from, from, uh, from New a, Japan and yeah. everything. And I'm like, bro, where is it? Nothing wrong with that, but it's just the, the, that's, that's just the sign of a suffering women's division, dude. Yeah, that's you know awesome. What I'm saying? Yeah, and go ahead and say you got, it's, just, it's just a sign of a suffering women's division, dude. I, it, it not saying, and you got something quick, quick. with Chris Statlander not making her return yet. Yeah, I'm about to say they do have some injuries though. They yeah. do have to they put they do have some injuries because I'm sure if Chris Statlander was completely healthy and able to yeah. actually perform, she would be in there. I'm she, sure she, she would have been champion by now. Oh yeah, she definitely would have been really in really a championship good. match by now. If at, at least been a championship matches by now. Yeah, she, she would have been won. a champion by now, at least. They, because they hurry up and remove the belt off of Rio. They didn't hurry up and remove the belt, but Rio had a good run, but it was time for a switch. It was yeah, time for she, a change. And, I feel like honestly, she was just like she was just instead of putting it on Britt Baker, who I think they wanted to put it on first. Honestly, mm-hmm. they just put her there to delay ultimately giving it to people like Chris Statlander. And you know, I don't want to call her a placeholder because that's disrespectful. But I think ultimately that's exactly what Riho was. She's just she's gonna she's gonna be to that women's division what Johnny Gargano would be if he was in the if he was in the NXT title picture. You understand what I'm saying? Like. That transitional, okay, hold this. But we know you're a mainstay. We know you can wrestle, but just hold on to that until we can put who we want to on. I mean, you know even, what I mean? Even past, yeah, I think it was Riho, and then it was Nyla Rose, and then it was Sheeta, and now we still have Sheeta. Sheeta is the third AEW Women's Champion, and this tournament will determine who will be facing her for the title at Revolution, which mm-hmm. is next Sunday. I'll be watching and covering that too, and oh, yeah. I'm probably gonna be doing a little watch party. I'm still trying to figure out how watch uh, parties go, uh, so I might be doing a watch party, man. We may we may be doing a watch party. We may sit our butts right here, have a few drinks, and I'll have the matches on. We're gonna talk wrestling, and we're gonna just talk period. So uh, I might do that on my Twitch, or I might do that here on YouTube. Depending, you know, let me know. Which was more convenient for you for you guys? So, mm-hmm. uh, and I'll leave the links in the description for both channels as well as both Twitch channels. As you know, so uh, Telly Blanchett, <laughs> Telly, what's up, dude? We're like you just you let these young guys talk you into getting back in the ring, Telly. Man, we need a third. We don't mesh well with nobody else. You might as well just come on and be, just stand in the corner. You know they ain't gonna let me stand in that corner. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get punched in the face at least once now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell it <laughs> Tell it Blanche get back in the ring with the FTR tonight to take on the uh Classic Express? Almost I was gonna say the Jungle Express. That'd have been funny. That's true. <laughs> with a Jurassic Express to six man tag match, man. What's going on? What you think about that? Mm. I don't know why Telly Blanchard would be in the ring. You could have easily wouldn't found somebody in the back. But, you know, that that goes in the aid. Like I said, again, AEW is not afraid to try shit. You know what I mean? Uh, ultimately, I don't see any reason why. I don't see. I just think it, I just think it'd be a I just think it'd be a decent match to put the Jungle Express out there, I think, because they're really trying to get them over. Because let's let's just be honest. That is a pretty silly gimmick. You know what I'm saying? It is. But I think they just trying to. I think they just, again, they just not afraid to try shit. Let's just try to, you know, let's just get some more spotlight on the Jungle Express. Let's try to get them over. You understand what I'm saying? At the same time, another, you know, motion for FTR, who should have been uh, either Raw or or uh, or SmackDown Tag Team Champions right now, who should have been one of the more decorated tag teams in the world right about now at this point. You understand what I'm saying? So I just think it's just more shine for both of them, more exposure for both of them. I think it'd just be a, a decent... It'd be a nice little filler match. You understand what I'm saying? It'd be a nice little filler match to get some more shine on two very good tag teams. All right. And uh, so is there some kind of ladder match going on at uh, at uh, Revolution? I haven't been paying much attention to it. I guess I, I don't know. Uh, tonight they're having a qualifier match for that to determine the last spot. Uh, I'm thinking, it, what is the name? THQ versus Max. T- no, THQ. TH2. Versus Max. You, you talking about the game, buddy? Yeah. About the, game. <laughs> the, the versus. I can't remember the dude's last name. I just looked at it, but it's Max something. They they're doing a little title match. You know, 
qualifier match to fill that last position in that ladder match. Uh, I'm going to have to look up and do some research on that and get back to you and see. Uh, it's just so much wrestling. I'm, I'm watching so many highlights, and I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's just, whoo, trying to get back into the swing of this stuff. Because I, I used to, it wasn't one thing I didn't know about wrestling before being a podcast or a streamer, you know what I'm saying? Talking about it like this was something that anybody could do, you know what I mean? But, so yeah, we getting back, getting back in the swing of it. But, uh, Inner Circle, Chris Jericho and MJF doing some kind of a press conference tonight that's got to be bound for interruption. So, <laughs> you know, after they didn't beat up, right? After they didn't beat up the Young Bucks' dad last week. These niggas are yeah, I say Young Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> beat up that old man like that. <laughs> they despicable, by the way. They acting like some teenage, some college students, bro. They... They beat yeah, them like, old people. They why they why they lethal in injection that dude off a of bone dog? You just mad because your ass is old. First thing you do is just pick up the phone. <laughs> but hey, man, that them boy spread off uh, in that damn car laughing, bro. I'm like, bro, these motherfuckers are acting like fucking college students. Jericho, you know the karma this the karma of this is coming back. The Jericho right. like you ain't coming back no time soon, huh? <laughs> 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 until then, until I'm the one getting thrown up against the truck, I'm going to do it to other people. <laughs> that damn Chris Jericho, boy. That boy ain't getting those things. I'm talking about despicable. I'm like, man, you know what? <laughs> if you if MJF learning how to be just gross, then you learning from one of the best, nigga. <laughs> if not the absolute best. <laughs> the, well, I'm, boy, telling I'm telling you. All right, man. Uh, I think that this young but I don't know if they. What you think? You think they're gonna get these titles, man? Do MJF and Chris Jericho need tag team gold? No, they don't. But it's good that it's, it's do the it's, young it's, bucks need this tag team gold? It's, it's, you know what I'm honestly, saying? Honestly, honestly, like honestly, neither one of them do. It's just like I said. It's just to get some spotlight on, get, put some shine on them titles because they prestige. desperately needed them. Prestige. There you go. Yeah. Put some prestige on them titles because they desperately needed them and just make them relevant. That's all y'all really need to do. And what better way to make them relevant than to have Chris Jericho, a legend, you know what I'm saying? And MJF, a guy he's grooming right under him, who's going to be very damn heel. good. I think he was voted top heel for 2020. And already one of the best wrestlers in the game, as young as he is. Some bitch younger than me. I'm 28. Some bitch younger than me and already, you know what I'm saying, one of the top heels in the business. You know what I'm saying, and then you got Young Bucks, one of the most decorated tag teams in the in the history of wrestling. <laughs> what better way to put some prestige on them titles than putting them big names? It's time to put them big names on the championships, bro. And this, and honestly, I'm looking forward to the match. I think it's gonna be a damn good match. I'm just interested to see how it's gonna end. I think so too. I, I'm interested to see how it's gonna end because I don't think it's gonna end clean. It's not now that it never ends clean with the inner circle. You understand what I'm saying? Something gonna happen. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen. I think it's either gonna be Sammy Guevara. Don't come in and do something to him. I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing Sammy Guevara doing something to him. Somebody gonna come in. I'm thinking of Sammy Guevara. But what you think? Honestly, man, dude, I wouldn't be surprised if, 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 if dude, I don't know what. As, as a as a fantasy booker, booker, like I'm thinking, I fuck around and be like, I let Jericho and them take it. Oh, you let Jericho take it. Honestly, but yeah, I let Jericho and them take it, man, and I do it just because I keep like, it I'm the type of per I'm the type of person that I like to see if y'all gonna I like wars, man. Especially yeah. wars between good wrestlers, man. You know what I'm saying? Now Jericho has been a bit heavy on, on, on you know Bro, he's in his fifties. Yeah, I'm like, giving him a break. I'm giving him a break by admitting. No, I'm not saying that to you. I'm just saying for the people out there that's going to say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know you understand. I, he, he, like, he's in his 50s. Y'all he's relax. Still, uh, Jericho is still in damn good shape. He's in better shape than I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, I, I, in his 50s. Hey, he's in better shape yeah, than I am. You know what, what I'm do? saying? And it's a, I don't know if it's just, no, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I know he got knee pain. Man, I know he got back pain, hip pain. You oh, he hurt, bro. You Again, can see he's it. in his 50s. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> like, I think the thing is, I think that I, I feel that at some, if it came down to it on the night of the defense, man, I'd let I'd let MJF and Wardlow. I'd be like, you know what? Jericho probably put like, well, look, I, I, I don't even want the belts. Honestly, I personally think that 
MJF and Wardlow mm. should have those belts, and they still a part mm. of the inner circle. You know mm. what I'm saying? I wouldn't even. Okay. I, I wouldn't want. If I was Jericho right now, nigga, I'd MVP that shit. Yeah, I'd put together a, a group them. of champions. Yeah, you don't you know even need saying? to wrestle right now if you don't want to. You don't need to wrestle. And and, and I and I'd pull some despicable shit, like handing the fucking tag team titles over to somebody else, so I can groom my champion in MJF. Yeah, and and, and groom his golem in 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 uh Wardlow. I like that. You know what I'm saying? And they get, and then then we can dominate as a stable that solidified AEW in the first place. Yes, sir. I like that. You understand what I'm saying? I do that because you pass the titles off to Ortiz and what's his name? Samuel then already eliminated himself. Fine. Go be a star that you are. You you can with TNT title, Darby Allen, Sammy Guevara, Darby Allen. I wouldn't mind seeing it. It's something to see, because right now him working with Sting, which is our next topic. I mean, Sting back, welcome back. Sting doing what we gonna see Big Show do later. Paul White do later. Yeah, Paul White. He gonna come here eventually. He gonna break down and punch somebody in the face, which is gonna lead to a match with him just doing <laughs> giant things around the ring. You like he gonna move around the ring like he moved around the ring a year ago when he was in there with Randy Orton. You can do exactly what he did there, right over there. Come in there, play your role, put over. That's that. Ain't hurting your career. Man, you're a legend, bro. Good. You already you are. You <laughs> ain't nothing there. Again, you want to do, ain't got nothing else to prove. You have yeah. nothing else to prove, bro. You have nothing else to prove, Paul White. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. anybody that even even begins to even argue that you're an idiot. You don't know wrestling. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the Sting Darby White uh, Darby Allen thing. Uh, Darby White, <laughs> the Sting Darby <laughs> Allen thing. Uh, I mean, I don't know where this is going. I don't know if Sting finna you know want actual title shot. I don't know. He just trying. I don't know. He just infatuated with Darby's right side. So, <laughs> or left side, whatever side he choose to paint that night, you know what I'm saying? Well, he just infatuated with that. Darby come down last week on the zip line. I'm like, oh my god, Darby, look, I know you a daredevil and everything, bro. But that was out. That was outcasted from wrestling for God, several God, reasons. Yes, okay, please. I don't need to explain. Go, go. That's gonna be the last coffin you drop in, dude. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I don't need that kind of over the top stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you to pay tribute to a legend. We already know this man is a legend. We already know you look up to him. <clears throat> so we can keep with all the uh, over the top stunts. Stay with made you you. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy the, you as a wrestler. I enjoy your I put it on the line attitude. You know what I'm saying? You a little mm-hmm. man, so you use what you have, which is your entire body, <laughs> as a weapon, and that's fine. Yeah. You know, the storyline of dealing with past trauma and all that, everything fits. You don't have to put anything more into what you already are. We like you because you are that person. Put gold yeah. on your waist don't make you any better. It's just a title. Mm-hmm. The man wearing the championship is what makes the goal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's mm-hmm. what they—that's what the prestiging of a championship is is held at. The people by the men who wore the belt. You know. That's so, why I looked to it earlier. See it all tied together. See, yeah, see, good. see. Yeah, so yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Sting. That's that's just see. I'm, I like to see this wrapped up because. I don't know. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of just wanting to say, why don't you just let Sting get past get in the ring and get it over with? Sting. If that's what y'all ultimately yeah, gonna do, this don't let Brian Cage power bomb this man straight to hell again. Like, please. Cause... If he <laughs> try to drill call this man, dude, he might not ever get back up, bro. It fuck around, definitely go wrong, dude. You, you see what, dude? If you got to ask nearly every competitor that you hit with this finishing move, if they good after the match, nigga, you should probably stop using this. Yeah. Move. Because you're going to one of these days, you're going to be too sweaty, and you're going to go to <laughs> fucking drop a nigga, and he going to... And you're going to draw his ass, so don't do it. Don't fuck... Hey, look, if I'm a wrestler, dude, look, and no disrespect, I mean, no disrespect for what I said, but I'm just simply saying, like, if I'm a wrestler, dude, and he have to ask me, bro, 
We not doing that move. I don't give a damn. We not doing that move. Find you something. Close line the hell out of me, nigga. But you ain't. I, I, yeah, I'll get <laughs> you five <probably, probably laughs> straight to hell five times in a row if need be. But we not doing that fucking move, you ain't bro. Gonna drill man. call me if we finna have an intense match and you gonna be slippery. Hell no. so I'm slippery. Man. You know what I'm saying? And so, I straight up tell motherfuckers, look, call me a bitch all you want to, bro. No drivers, bro. No drivers. No drivers. Yeah, None. Bro. No DDTs either. <laughs> no low cut. Damn DDTs. I'm not going all the way on top of my head. I'm hitting the DDT. I'm definitely going in like this. Yeah. <laughs> Booze, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> but, all right, man. Uh, and I think the last thing we should talk about is John Moxley bringing up the fact that he wants Kenny Omega in a landmine match or something of that sort. That happened in high school. And I don't know where that's going to go tonight. Kenny going to accept that challenge for a landmine match? I mean... A landmine match? I don't, I don't know, know if it's a landmine. If they call it Wait. a landmine match or if they call it it's something else. But it was something around that, that... It's something that has to do with explosions. So, <laughs> many explosives, if you will. You know, that shit when the, the, the shock that was shot, the ring ropes was made of barbed wire and they shocked the shit out of it. You touch them oh. and shit. Shit. Backyard wouldn't, wrestling shit. Wasn't a celebrity death match. Right. <laughs> That's what John Moxley talking about going with Kenny Omega at Revolution, man. Yeah, I don't know if he accepted the match or if it's planned, but last last week after fucking John Moxley squashed some some jobber, or, or had trouble with him, more likely if you want to say that. like it wasn't a complete squashing, but you know it was a wrestling a brawling match in this case, but you know. He, he put up the idea for a landmine match in my head. Does Kenny accept? Does, does Kenny pass? Well, he gonna have to accept. I mean, how do you think you feel about that? What do you think about this kind of a match? Um, first of all, uh, wow. Uh, second, it, again, just gonna have to wait and see exactly what the hell it is. I, I'm gonna be honest, I've, I've never heard. I'm boy, AEW is gonna willing to go with it, you know. Yeah, how far is AEW willing to go with this? You know, yeah, I, I, I like TNT to have... and everything. So. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Y'all try, you That's know. I don't want to see a dude literally get fatality on my damn screen. You know what I'm saying? Next like, Kenny Omega or John Moxley gonna hit a landmine next time. You gonna know? Boom, boom. Law and order, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Omega. What the hell? <laughs> you know, I don't have to see. First of all, I, I cleaned I just, it up. <laughs> I just hope they don't kill their damn selves. Yeah, one exactly. Anytime Kenny Omega and and John Moxley go out, I want to see. I want to see because they put on some. They put on some damn good matches. D- despite what people think, they put on some damn good matches. It may not always be what you expect it's gonna be, but at the very least, it's not gonna be a bad match. It's gonna be a damn good match at the very least. So. I like seeing what they do in the ring. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Um, I think Kenny Omega is going to accept. I think Kenny Omega is going to retain that championship. Oh, he needs to retain. Uh, because I, yeah, I was just going to say, because I think he needs to retain right now because we don't need to see John Moxley win the championship back right now. I think it's just Kenny Omega's time right now. Let Kenny Omega shine and put all, you know, let Kenny Omega be Kenny Omega with that championship. And uh, honestly, I just I just want to see how the match turns out. I, I just know it's going whatever it is going to be, it's going to be a crazy ass match whenever you put these two psychos in the ring together. I know that. What you think? I don't know. I can't say I'm happy to see John Moxley wrestle. You know? <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, but, 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 yeah. Big fan, you know? It's not that I'm not a, I, I'm not a Moxley fan. I just you know I don't see. I, I he his role his his role as a contender is more fitting to his character than him his role as a main show champion. I, I, I'm, not the, I'm sure I'm not the only person that believes that John Moxley is a B star at at least. TNT championship goal all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like FTW goal <laughs> all the way. You know what I'm saying? Like Damn, Triple H. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. The dude like that. <laughs> that, that plus player. <laughs> like, bro, like when he his time as WWE his role in WWE was a low budget, low budget role of what he's doing now. You know what I'm saying? Like he's able to be what the character that actually brought him to the table. You know, hold on a sec. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, his role in the WWE was way 
Like, it was just way too much. She's actually talking on the phone. I don't know if y'all can hear. You actually can't hear. This damn mic actually pretty good. Well, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. He, just, I just think that he shares better as a as a mid card champion or mid card player, dude. I'm sorry. I, he I, his time in WWE as champion was a waste. It it was a waste, dude. I I felt that. They didn't know where to put him. They didn't know who to put him against. His matches didn't say like his his style of wrestling. This is not that. That's like you wrestling at a top caliber <laughs> as a chance as a you know what I'm saying. Like even though he was he, he's a he's the United States champion over there in New Japan. He's not their main champion. He's a mid card champion over there. You know too, what I'm so. saying? So like he, they know. It's not saying that they know where he belongs. It's not saying he should know his place. He does make for a good main card contender. For a contender, because he's a definite threat. His style of wrestling, his th- that's a threat. I can I can get behind that, but I can't. Him being a wrestler as a champion, holding that goal, and it's like, oh, I take all comers, and you actually beating good. Wrestlers? No, I ain't buying that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't buying that. When you ask me who's the better wrestler, Kenny Omega or John Moxley, I'm going to give you Kenny Omega. Oh, every time. Every you know time. what I'm saying? Time, yeah. And that's not no disrespect to John. That's not. I like his style of, uh, of combat, which is brawling, not wrestling. Yeah. He's, a, he's the world's, probably the world's greatest brawler. In, in, uh, in, in wrestling. In wrestling. You know what in I'm wrestling. saying? Like, and, and I'll give him that. But when, you know, I don't know. This shit, I, I can't get down with his style of wrestling. And, and that's one big thing. I, so what I said to it earlier, championships, fucking storylines, and performance. And I, his performance is not, a, that's a, his performance deserves hardcore, hardcore gold. Not a fucking AEW title like main title goal we talking about hell in the cell star type wrestlemania star type goal dude that shit didn't work for him dude mm-hmm. that match with brock lesnar seemed like it was like any other match with brock lesnar it was like go out there and take your whooping boy <laughs> that's how it should have been compared to, that should have been a it didn't have to necessarily be a bloodbath but somebody should have been bleeding in that mall like, you know that match with brock, brock wasn't you know yeah. brock wasn't finna go out there and let me put a bar wire back and a battle to him you know, yeah, was, you know what I mean? Like, that match should have just been regular because it just felt like a regular match with just spots that were supposed to be spots but really weren't spots, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Other than him getting thrown into a pile of chairs, like, what the hell is that? Yeah. All right, so just a few things to touch on. Two other things I want to touch on. Uh, Paige. Oh. He's the fans on the only fan. Hmm? Not surprised. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw it out there. Take the page and the only fans. And the only fans. So, yeah. I'm she didn't tease fan. Xavier Woods at all. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, and uh, Pete Dunn looking like championship material out there. That boy looking ripped right now. You know what I'm saying? Like That boy got in the shade from what he was to where he is now. Like He wasn't in bad yeah, shape then, but bad. now you can see the cuts. He got rid of that baby fat. Yeah. He got old and got rid of that baby Man, fat. You can see the cuts. He looking like championship material. Could 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 NXT gold be in his future? At oh, yeah. any point. Because oh, come on, man. Let's put done. aside with Adam Cole get kicking and breaking up. I don't know what the fuck was there with Adam. Man. All right, that's yeah. No, what the hell is Uh-oh. what's going on with Adam Cole breaking up the undisputed era and he's still beefing with Finn Balor? So <laughs> does, does that just end the fact that? Pete Dunn and his crew completely beat the shit out of Finn Balor afterwards. Is Pete Dunn still a part of the title picture? Are we gonna see Pete Dunn, Adam Cole, and, and, and Finn Balor for the triple threat for this title? I think we ultimately gonna see that triple threat match, but they gonna <clears throat> if they don't have it booked up by the time WrestleMania come around, because you know they're gonna be on the Saturday and WrestleMania is gonna be on that Sunday. However, they gonna do it again this year because of the pandemic. 
I can see if they're doing it there or they're going to hold it off until SummerSlam. And you can do it there, which SummerSlam ain't nothing but WrestleMania, but in the summer. That's what that's how it's perceived anyway. That's how it's supposed to be perceived anyway. So I could see them doing it, but it's going to have to take place at a big stage. You don't just throw matches like that out for free or, you know what I'm saying, on any old pay-per-view. You got to put them on big stages. That's where the money at. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, guys, that pretty much is about all that we had to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I guess that we have to wait for the highlights or wait for till after tonight's shows to see where we going at uh, where we going next week. But uh, man, we are gonna keep coming at you with these with these little podcasts and whatnot. Like I said, we are gonna try to definitely do some live podcasts because uh, I'm feeling it. My boy feeling it. We like sitting here gabbing about wrestling, as you can see. And uh, we want y'all to get in on the conversation, man. So uh, drop it down below in the comments what you expecting from tonight's shows and, you know, what, where you think we're going to go. Do you think Kenny Omega going to accept that match? I'm sure yeah. he is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, you, you, do you believe the women's titles, women's tag team championships need to be NXT property to bring yeah. up more stars? You yeah. know? Like, uh, these are questions that we want to give out to y'all. We want y'all to answer them down below in the comments. So uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Be sure to also like this video, man. Because that lets us know that you want more of it. And we're going to bring it to you whether you like it or not. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ladies and gentlemen, you can catch me at my handle. I don't know how I'm going to keep trying to do this. Right, it's right there on Twitter. At beards and beanies, and you can catch my boy's handle. Wait, I can't get into his screen. Up, oh, no, oh, you see it right there. Catch your boy over on Twitter. Follow us, man, so you can you know chat with us online and whatnot, and figure out what we doing next. On you know, because we constantly working. And uh, I'll drop a link to my boy's channels, two channels, down below in the description, so y'all can go check them out. You know what I'm saying? It, content, man. That's all we trying to do is distribute content. We trying to do it at a, a, a in a flashily. So, ladies and gentlemen, y'all uh, come back and chill with us, man. That's been uh, episode four of Let's Talk About It For Me. And uh, wrestling, wrestling With Rage. rage. Yeah, Wrestling With Rage and Beanie. I think we're going to, still, I'm still trying to figure out because I, I like his because it, it incorporates both of us. And I also like Top Grappler. So let me know what y'all think, man. Yeah, let what, us know in the comment section. Yeah, let us know in the comment section which I like the show to be called Wrestling with Rage and Beanie, uh, or, or Top Grappler. I'm think uh, I like Top Grappler. I ain't worried about the other. What's the other one I said? I didn't say anything else. All right, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> y'all have a good one. Uh, stay safe. Wear your mask, man. I got mine right. Put that mother wow. on right now. Wear your mask. Don't let nobody tell you not to wear your mask if you don't feel comfortable. You know, without a mask, put it on. Better safe than and, sorry. And these are the same motherfucking people that left us out in the cold not even two weeks ago when it was freezing out there. Y'all really trust them to say don't wear masks no more? I ain't trying to so. hear that kind of talk, man. Um, so, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good day, and we'll catch y'all later on the night after the show. Peace. Now, hashtag that enough said. Mm.